Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Charlotte in Wonderland. If you're new here then I am Charlotte and my channel is all about my love for Disney and our family adventures to the Disney parks. As you have probably guessed now from the title, the purpose of this video is to let you guys know that we are going back to Walt Disney World! We're heading back to the most magical place on earth at the end of October until the 8th of November. It's a two week trip and this time it's a different set of people traveling. It's myself, my mum and Paisley, my daughter, who if you've watched my channel before, you will have seen. If you're new here, Paisley is three and a half. She's adorable and she cannot wait to go on this trip. Similarly, if you've watched my channel before, you will know that it's usually my husband Harvey that we travel with, or Harvacious as we like to call him. However, he will not be joining us on this trip. He is a little bit Disneyed out, if that's even possible, and is actually going on an alternative trip with his family in September. So he's not missing out and he'll be back on next year's trip. But for this trip, it's girls only, uh, three generations. So my mum, myself, Paisley, um, obviously that's Paisley's nanny. So we're gonna have a lovely time. We've been to Disneyland Paris together quite a few times and we always have so much fun in the parks. So we booked this trip quite a while ago. I think it was actually before Christmas of 2018. If you know me, and um, probably like many of you guys out there, we always like to have a trip planned and a countdown on the go. So there's always some Disney magic to look forward to. We booked this as a package through the Walt Disney World Travel Company and that included our flights, our tickets originally and our hotel stay. I say tickets originally because since that time point myself and Paisley have become Walt Disney World annual pass holders so we were able to remove the ticket section of our package with Disney and we'll be using our annual passes instead and my mum has been able to book her tickets on a separate booking which works well for us and our trip. Now, as it's not a full package with the tickets, hotel and flights, it's just hotel and flights now, we do not have a Disney dining plan for this trip. Uh, last year we had it for the first time, we had the full Disney dining plan, so we had uh, two snacks per day, a quick service and a full sit down table service meal, which is great, we got it free last October because we stayed at Disney's Yacht Club Resort. This year we did not book within the window of free dining, so we considered adding it, um, but no, we're not going to this time, we're just gonna see how we go, buy food as and when we need it, as we did find that a lot of food last time, so that will suit us quite well. Also, I will say as we book this as a package with the Walt Disney Travel Company, what you do or what you're able to do should you choose to is pop down a deposit when you first make the booking and then you can pay the trip off monthly. And I believe it's three months before your departure date that you have to have cleared that balance. And you can clear the balance by giving them a call or you can log in online and pay off gradually as and when as well. So that worked really, really well um, for budgeting and we all know these trips are, are quite expensive. So it's nice to spread that cost out. Now, we are flying with British Airways from London Gatwick, which is usually the case for ourselves. We've tried flying with Virgin once, who were absolutely fine, no problem at all, but British Airways do tend to come up the cheapest option for us, and they're absolutely fine. Personally, I would not say there's much in between British Airways and Virgin Atlantic, so whichever of those two comes up most reasonable, I'm absolutely happy to fly with. We will be booking the number one lounge at London Gatwick Airport and Premium Security, purely because I am an anxious flyer and having those things that make it go a little bit smoothly and make my life a bit easier at the airport really do help with that and the lounges are great. You get food and wine and all that fun stuff that you want when you're super excited to go on holiday. You may be wondering where we're staying and we are actually trying three resorts on this trip. 
two at Walt Disney World and one over at Universal Studios. And the two Walt Disney World resorts are brand new for all three of us. We've never stayed at any of them. And the Universal Hotel we've stayed in many a times and it's my favorite over at Universal. So to start with the Disney resorts, we have eight nights at a value resort. One that we have been wanting to stay at for so long and that Paisley is so, so excited about because the theming is insane. Absolutely amazing. I've visited this resort. I've seen it in vlogs, pictures, posts, and we can't wait. It's gonna be so perfect for her. If you haven't guessed already, it's Disney's Art of Animation Resort. We then have the one night over at Universal Studios Orlando and we're staying at the Hard Rock Hotel, which is awesome. The theming is fun. The hotel is cool. It's so close to the park, so you can literally walk there in less than 10 minutes. It's, it's perfect and I love it, so can't wait to go back there. And the one I think I personally am most excited for, we are staying at for just a few nights at the very end of our trip, and that is a deluxe resort. It's Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Again, I've visited here before. We've eaten there. We've just been over to look at the savannah and spent some time there, and it's fabulous. It's amazing just to be able to be there on the savannah with all the animals and see them out of the windows etc it's gonna be beautiful and we cannot wait now obviously we are going to be spending a lot of time at Walt Disney World on this trip as we always do and that is our main draw to Orlando. However, as usual, if you've watched the vlogs before or if you follow along my Instagram account, you'll also know that we are big Universal fans as well. So when we have the stay there at the Hard Rock Hotel, we do have two park days, so we have the first day, the overnight stay, and then the second day at Universal. And because we're staying at one of their, I guess they call it deluxe resorts, the Hard Rock, you do get free express pass. So unlimited express on all of the rides over at Universal Studios. So hopefully we'll be able to get all the rides done within those two days. We are also attending some special ticketed events during this trip. Um, you probably guessed due to the time of year that we're going, which is at Halloween, my favorite time of year. And full time or autumn, as we call it in America, is the best. I love it so much. I love to see the Disney parks all dressed up for Halloween and the characters in their costumes. And of course, we are going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And my other favorite, which is a complete opposite to Mickey's Not So Scary, and that is Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios. It's the best Halloween event for me that I've ever been to. Not that I've been to many. I've been to a few theme park events here in the UK and a couple of smaller um, haunted village type events as well. Halloween Horror Nights is everything. If you like horror, if you like Halloween, you must go. The effort that goes into the houses and the sets scare zones, everything there, it's incredible. It's such an amazing event and that's really what draws us to go there over Halloween each year. I mentioned before that we do not have a dining plan on this trip, however, we do still have some nice dining reservations booked. So to start with, on our first morning of the trip, we will be going to be our guest for breakfast inside of the Magic Kingdom, which is a lot of fun. I've been there before and the theming again is brilliant. The breakfast is nice. It's a quick service, so it's absolutely reasonable. And I think Pace will really enjoy it in there as well. And I'm excited to take my mum because she's not been in there before. I also have snagged us a reservation at Ogre's Cantina which is the new bar restaurant type place inside of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Um, just yesterday, when I'm filming this, um, yesterday the reservations came out for there. I've actually got two. I've got one breakfast and one lunch. I may end up canceling one of them, but what I do know is that at least now we're guaranteed to get into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, which is so exciting. 
We'll also be going to Chef Art Smith's homecoming at Disney Springs because it's yummy and I've been dreaming of their macaroni and cheese since the last time I ate there in 2017. And we have a breakfast booked at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, which will be fun. Excited to go there and to show my mum where me and Harvey got married, as we actually got married at that resort out by the marina. And we have one last dining reservation, which is the Storybook Dining, um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs themed over at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. I'm super excited for this trip because there's quite a lot of new experiences that will be there for us that none of us have experienced before. I've just mentioned one which I think everybody who's heading to Walt Disney World in the next few months is overly super excited for and that's Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I cannot wait to go there hopefully get on the ride. We've got the dining reservation for drinks in the bar and snacks. And just to see it all, we were speaking to my friend Brett, who's a cast member at Disney Hollywood Studios in Toy Story Land when we were there in May. And he said, it's incredible. He said, it's like walking onto the set of a Star Wars movie and it's like nothing we've ever seen before in a theme park. So get me there. I just can't wait to see it. I'm prepared to battle the crowds just to have a look, if nothing else. Another thing that's brand new that's not open at the time of filming this video is the Disney Skyliner system. I mentioned that we're staying at Disney's Art of Animation Resort and that is on the Skyliner route. So we'll be able to hop on and go over to Hollywood Studios, Epcot, Riviera, Caribbean Beach, I think that's everywhere it goes, but yeah, that's a fun new way to travel around Disney World property and to see some new resorts and go and explore. I am afraid of heights and small spaces, so whilst I'm fully prepared to try it and I am very excited to do so, I may not like it. I'm, I may do. I might surprise myself, but definitely gonna try it once I have to it's it's there at our resort and it's a cool new way to travel so I'm gonna conquer my fears on the Skyliner we are going to try a minivan for the first time because I've seen them driving around property on our last couple of trips and they're just cute they're really really cute so can't wait to try one of those out um, as we do not have Harvacious this year traveling with us he is usually a designated driver I'm not confident enough to drive in the US and neither is my mum. So we'll be using a lot of Disney transport um, buses. We'll be using Uber to get over to Universal and the minivan will be a treat. So it's going to be an experience not having a car because when we go as a family, usually we always rent a car. So I'm excited to see things from a different way and use a lot more of the Disney transportation. I'm super excited to stay at two brand new resorts, as I mentioned before, Art of Animation and Animal Kingdom Lodge. Um, I just like trying new Disney resorts and I'm trying to make my way through the list and be able to tick them all off so that one day we'll be able to say we've stayed at all the Walt Disney World resorts and then I could pick my all time favorite and yeah, that's just fun. I'm really, really excited for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party this year. Um, we've been for the last couple of years and last year the crowds were crazy and nothing really had changed since the last time we had gone. However, this year, there's a lot of changes that are coming to the party. So I believe there's a new fireworks show, there's new floats on the parade, there's new character meet and greets, dance parties, ride overlays. So it's gonna be super fun. And we've got our costume ideas sorted. That's again very fun as it's taken quite a lot of time to think up, being that it's um, three ladies. Usually we have Harvey, so it's a bit easier to think of a man, lady and kid costume, but we've got two ladies and a little girl, so three girls. If you wanna guess our costumes, comment down below. It's a villain, a Disney princess and a sidekick. I put this out on my Instagram recently and I think only two people guessed correctly and I'm not giving it away, I'm gonna leave it as an absolute surprise, but yeah, it's super fun and I can't wait to share that with you guys. 
as it's the full time um, Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival will be taking place. So super excited to try some new food and beverages there. And we also have some friends there at the same time. So my friend from Instagram, Sean, is doing his cultural representative program in Epcot right now. So I hope to go say hi to him. I have more friends, Lauren and Stephen will be there and some more Instagram friends as well. So hopefully we see lots of familiar faces and can have some fun at Disney World together. Let me know in the comments if you are going to be at Walt Disney World late October, early November, and I would love to say hi if so. And one last thing that I am super excited about is that hopefully, fingers crossed, by the time we leave, Disney World should be decorated for Christmas. The first Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party is taking place on the day that we leave. So I'm, I'm actually so sad about that, but it does mean that the tree should be up and the Magic Kingdom at very least should be decorated and in full Christmas spirit. There's nothing more magical than Disney at Christmas. So just to see that will be lovely. Super sad that I can't attend the first party or any party for that matter, but I'll just make sure we can next year. For now, that's all the details I am going to share with you guys. I will be sharing itinerary videos and my Disney Parks makeup video is something that's been requested a few times now, so I'll be sharing that. I'll be sharing our fast passes when the time comes, which is not long at all now until we can book those packing videos and lots, lots more planning and fun in the lead up to our trip, which is just over 11 weeks away. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get back to the magic. Thank you so much if you've watched this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will follow along with the trip vlogs that will be released mid to late November following our trip. Do subscribe to my channel for lots of Disney fun. Come and check my profile on Instagram for all of our family holiday photos and lots more Disney content. And thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.